Hello guys, this is Amos Doll Music and in today's lesson I'm going to teach you how to play the song called On The Floor by Ice JJ Fish, okay? This is a very iconic song by Ice JJ Fish, okay? Very, very catchy motive. There's one huge jump that's difficult in this song, but otherwise it's pretty cool. It goes like this, give you a preview of that main thing. Okay, it goes like this. So in melody and block was first from there you can add other improvisations and decorations into it okay so here we go right hand uh we'll break it up to parts say um let me see um about four parts okay first part goes like this right hand starts on the e flat here middle c here for reference go up an octave c is the e flat here so two e flats e flat f g and then up to the high e flat and then we have massive jump down to the low b flat and then back up to octave above uh, actually no, that's the next part, don't worry about it, okay? So, this is the first part, okay? One more time, just goes like this. E flat, E flat, E flat F, G, up to the high E flat, more than octave, jump down to low B flat. And that's the, for the first part, okay? So there are seven notes uh, for this first part. Okay, once you get that left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords are A flat major 7, is a four note chord, A flat C, E flat G. Second chord is G minor 7, which is G, B flat, D, F. Okay, so with these two chords in mind, A flat major 7 and G minor 7, the two hands together goes like this. First E flat by itself, second E flat and A flat major 7 together. After B flat, G minor 7 by itself. That's it for the first part. One more time, it goes together. So that's the difficult part where you have to jump that massive jump, okay? Anyway, moving on uh, to the second part, right hand continues after this B flat goes up to the octave above B flat twice, two G's, up to two C's, down to E flat, E flat F, G, and then once again up to that E flat and then octave, uh, more than octave jump down to B flat, like that. Yeah, okay, one more time for this second part, so it goes like this. B flat, B flat, G, G, C, C, down to E flat, E flat, F, G, up to E flat, more than octave, down to B flat. Okay, so the second part is like similar to the first part, but more notes leading up to the first note, okay? Yeah, left hand, we have the same two chords as the first part, so just A flat major 7 and G minor 7. Okay, it's the same as the first part, two chords, okay? With that in mind, two hands together goes like this, right hand starts off with the first five, uh, first six notes. E flat and e, A flat major 7 together. B flat G minor 7 by itself, like that. That's it for the second part. One more time, it goes. Here. That's it for the second part. So, back to back, the two parts we've learned so far will be played like this. Check it out. Like that. Moving on to the third part, right continues. Back up to the B flat octave above, twice, and then two G's, up to two C's. F, F, G, D, E flat, F, G, F. That's it for the third part. One more time for this third part. So it goes like this. B flat, B flat, G, G, C, C, F, F, G, D, E flat, F, G, F. That's it for the right hand. Okay, left hand, we have two chords here. The two chords this time is A flat major 7, which you know, A flat, C, E flat, G. However, the second chord this time changes to E flat major 7, which is E flat, G, B flat, D. All right, so with these two chords in mind, A flat major seven and E flat major seven, two hands together, goes like this. So right hand starts, F and A flat major seven together. After F, E flat major seven by itself. Like that. One more time, it goes like this. Okay, so that's the third part. So back to back, the three parts of one so far, we'll be playing like this. Check it out, it goes, um, yeah. One more time. Okay, so that's the three parts we've done so far. Moving on to the fourth and last part, right continues, goes two E flats, another E flat, E flat F, B flat, B flat C. 
that's it for the fourth part. One more time, it goes E flat, E flat, E flat, E flat F, B flat, B flat C. That's it for the right hand left hand. Three chords finishing off the other three chords are F minor seven, which is F, A flat, C, E flat, it's a four note chord. Second chord is G minor seven, which is G, B flat, D, F. And third chord, A flat major seven, which is A flat, C, E flat, G. Okay, so with these three chords in mind, so F minor seven, G minor seven, and A flat major seven, all four note chords. The two hands together goes like this, so right hand starts. Third, E flat and F minor seven to get up. B flat and G minor seven to get up. Up C, A flat major seven, let's go. Like that. One more time for this fourth part, so it goes. To get up, to get up, sha. That's it for the fourth part, so back to back, all four parts will be played like this. Check it out, it goes. So you can actually repeat it based on the second part lead up. You can be like Yeah, like that. Like you can add that lead up, okay? You know how like the first part originally it doesn't lead up like right into it? it just goes dun 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 dun. That's like a start, but when, when you want to repeat it, uh, the like once you play the fourth part, you can uh, repeat it back to the second part lead up and then just like loop it from there. Okay, but yeah, that means you have to play the second part for two times, okay, replacing the first part once you want to repeat it. Okay, so I hope you know what I'm talking about. Okay, but anyways, so yeah, once you get all these melody and chords right, all the notes and rhythm, then you can start to add other improvisations and decorations to it. But very simple, you can do like do a rhythmic pattern. Yeah, or you can do like octave arpeggios and stuff, okay? So right hand can harmonize based on those chords too. So you can do something like this. Yeah, play around with it, okay? So yeah. That's pretty much it. Very, very awesome theme. So, hope you enjoyed this lesson. If you did, make sure to check out the rest of my channel because literally, I have multiple thousands and thousands and thousands of these videos for you to enjoy and learn from. So, most likely, you can find your favorite song to learn on my channel. Anyway, also, check out my website, bestpianomethod.com, linked in the description below if you want to learn more piano from me, learn how to play by ear, improvise, read sheet music, play and sing, and a lot of other cool stuff. So, make sure to check it out. Enjoy the time around my channel for now, and see you next time. Tell me in the comments what you want me to cover or teach next, or use my services to guarantee a priority custom song request. For more information on all my other piano mastery courses, sheet music and books, check out the links in the description or visit my website bestpianomethod.com.